Hi, I'm Mac with My Nerds Leisure World, and today we're looking at a brand new product for 2018. And this is the Ice Castle Walleye Tracker. It's a pretty neat product, lots of cool features, and I've got Nick here to check it out with me. Hi, and yes, I am Nick with My Nerds, and I'm excited to be working with Mac today on the Walleye Tracker. This is the first time that we've ever had the Ice Castles in stock. And we're pretty thrilled about them because they've got a tremendous reputation for their build as well as their usability. Absolutely. Let's start right from the front here, Mac. Can you yeah. Tell yeah. me about this. So up at the front here, uh, you have a regular coupler, but they have a neat little winch system. What this allows you to do is you can drop the front end of the trailer while leaving it connected to your tow vehicle. Now this whole process is part of dropping the entire shack down flat, flush with the ice. That way when you pop open the, open the portholes inside, you don't have any sort of gusts of wind coming through. That's right, this goes right down on the ice. And all three of the, of the uh, jacks are on winches that you just wind them down and it drops down and then when you're ready to go back, you just wind them back up. Let will show you on the, on the side over here. Come on back this way. While we're working our way over, take note of all of the checker paneling all along the side. This is rock guard. It's gonna make it a really heavy duty unit, really durable. That's a good point, and that's, uh, like, yeah, because you're going to be out on the, on the lake with this, and if anybody's coming up and you're close, throwing, throwing snow from their quads and all that neat stuff, or when they're trolling, of course, on the ice, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's going to happen. Yeah. But check this out, guys, like how this, this wheel well is built. So this now will drop right, or the wheel comes right up, of course, as it's dropped down, and you just work the winch just like uh, Matt was saying on the front. The only thing I'm going to caution on you, don't let it loose, like just in case you get your knuckles wrapped a little bit as it uh, skips into the next spot as you're dropping it down, because there's some tension on that when you're doing it. That's right. You do have quite a bit of leverage, so it's not hard to do, just don't let go of it. For sure. For Mac, check out the graphics on the side. Like, yeah. Isn't this something? I, I do like the graphics. They really do yeah. pop, especially out on the ice, you know, that you're going to see that for miles around. People are going to stop by just to take a look inside. And it is a BYOB, I understand, it, ice fishing. It, it, I mean, that is that standard happens. ice fishing rules, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that right. is how it goes. But these are even thermal pane windows that, uh, you know, everything is meant to keep you warm and toasty on the inside. That's right, these are residential yeah. grates, so if you're in minus 40, they're going to help keep that, that heat in yeah. a lot better than the single pane that you normally see on RVs. Now, we're on the back of the trailer now, and check out this neat bay window. I yeah. even, like I could just take that whole thing and put it right on my house and I'd be able to sit in that window seat quite It's well. It's great, yeah. It brings in a lot of light. It makes the trailer feel a lot more open too when you're sitting around with your buddies. A lot more light at the end. Thermal pane windows all the way around. Okay. Let's go inside and have a look at it. Okay, we're inside the walleye tracker and just as I'm talking I can even find, see how how the, the sound has even dropped down so you don't have a lot of humming on the outside or like on the outside. It's really well insulated. Right on the very front you see that there's lots of lots of cabinet spaces in here. But this one is oh my god, sorry oh, Doc. Okay. okay, sorry. Excuse me. Okay. So this is the bathroom on, on the walleye tracker. Now or, you're gonna notice this toilet looks a little funny. And there's good reason for it. There, there's no plumbing on this trailer. And uh, they chose to exclude the plumbing. Uh, for when you're out on the ice, you don't have the chance of any pipes freezing. So that's really good thinking on their part. But you do get some extra storage in here too. I mean, there's a large compartment right here. You also have a medicine cabinet right above my head here. Right there. And if you don't want to use this as a bathroom, you can, of course, use it to store some extra gear. Yeah. yeah. Now, just stand up for a second. It's it's set for, for you folks, if you so desire, with your handy-dandy bucket, and you can just uh, do your business. You, this can be a, an all-season unit, if you so desire. Now, what do you think of the wood paneling, Nick? I That's, personally love it. You know, when we saw pictures of this Mac, I thought this is all paneling. Mm -hmm. But this is actually cedar. This is ton of new cedar that's put in here. So that's why it has such a warm, cozy feel it inside. It brings an environment. You, the, yeah. you step inside and you just smell cedar. Yeah, it, yeah, it feels it's, like it's a cabin. marvelous. Yeah. Now, with this walleye tracker, as you come into the door, you've got, of course, the, the table right here. Two people very comfortably. Plus, that will lay down into a bed if you so mm -hmm. desire. That's right. And then you've got the bunk bed right up above here. That uh, you all you do is just pull that thing down, and you've got it 
in place. Look at this, how tall that is. Mm -hmm. like, now, yeah. I'm six foot one, and I've got plenty of headroom while I'm sitting here. I got no worry about that plopping down on top of me. And I'm not, and I've got plenty of headroom <laughs> as well. <laughs> but check out the mattress on this Mac. Like it just, it, it just really a, a very yeah, it's just all together. together. We've yeah. got stove with an oven. Like it's propane, of course. Mm -hmm. And there's a mm -hmm. furnace in here, so it's going to be toasty all the time. Uh, the stove fan, the burner fan, and everything. So it's uh, you're going to be able to cook the fish after oh, yeah. you catch it. Absolutely. And you've got lots of counter space. This is just great. I mean, you have got an entire prep bar right here. As you're yeah. catching the fish, you can have three guys going easy, all cleaning the fish. One guy cooking them. It's perfect. Oh, oh look at here for television. Even uh, if you just wanted to plug in the cigarette lighter for charging your phones you or yep. the uh, 12 volt TVs. For sure. What do we got? Two, four, six holes for fishing from. That's and right. we've got lots of space. We've got sitting here, and then now we're going to show with the camera the back of the trailer as well. Mm -hmm. So now at the back of the trailer, you can see we've got our jackknife sofa. This actually collapses down into a bed. And Nick's already taken the liberty. He's popped out one of the hatches for us. So yeah. it's just that easy. Just like that, you're already fishing. A nice you know, little touch. Just look at the foam insulation all the way around here. Exactly. So it's nicely insulated in the floor and everything. You got no drafts coming through. And I really like the touch. They put those LED lights right by the hatches. It really lights up the hole and it makes it more active and more fun. Yeah. Yeah. This is amazing. So we got a sleeping accommodation up top. That exactly. pulls down. Just like and that. And that has quite a lot of height here again. You know, so you can sit here. Mm -hmm. yep. If somebody's having a nap up here and we're sitting here. Uh, we can sit and fish while somebody has a nap. No problem. That's yeah. a bonus right yeah. there. <laughs> no, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm so impressed with these. And now, as far as with. Oh, we didn't see oh, this handy dandy little right. place here. This you is can really neat. I like that. Store your fishing uh, fishing rods right in there out of the way because that goes right across That's as right. well. And no, uh, here's neat little touches. Yeah, like, the little the little touches the, the are what camo, really tie it together. Camo, camo everywhere. And camo material throughout. Gives you a nice feel. Mac, this is pretty exciting. I'm, I'm really proud of these things. I'm looking forward to having these shown at our at our on our mm -hmm. lot and everything we've got we've got a total of four different ones that are coming that's in that's right yeah and yeah. so we should have them very shortly and uh, you've got folks consider this very very much for this winter's activities because winter becomes very long in Saskatchewan and yeah, you, you want to have some activities you got to break it up and you know yeah. this is the type of trailer that you don't have to use just in the winter if you're a fall hunter it's well insulated, you've right got on. some great heat in here, you know, you can bring all your hunting buddies with you. And even if you're yeah. going to camp in the summer, we've got a rooftop AC unit, and that's a 13,500 BTU AC. So if you're camping in the summer heat, it's going to keep you nice and cool. Well, and with the insulation factor oh, on this, it's going to stay cool anyway. It's just fantastic. But now with that, in, that, so you hunters, you've got, now instead of one season use, you've got two possibly three seasons exactly. quite comfortably yeah. and you've got enough room to take your kids out in the summertime mm -hmm. I mean I, I consider myself a sportsman I'm really excited about one of these yeah. I would love to own one I know a lot of other people would too anyway Mac thank you very much of course I'm Nick that's Mac he's the tall one and <laughs> we're with Minards and to check this out check it out online at minorsleisureworld.com or give us a call, ask about it, one 842 3288